Hi friend, David here from Learn Christmas Lighting and today we're going to look at these lights behind us. We're going to talk about what types of DMX moving heads are best for your Christmas light display. All right, so uh, moving heads are definitely all the rage in Christmas lighting. You see more and more every year, more people using different types of moving heads in their show, in their display. And so then the question is, what type should you use? What kind of effects can you get out of each type of light? Okay, so uh, first and foremost, I want to go through the types that we've got here and then walk you through another couple types that I've seen around other places, okay? Um, so, boom, let's get started. All right, when it comes to moving lights for Christmas display, one of the first things to think about is, are you going to go with a waterproof light or a light that's not waterproof? Okay. If the light itself is not waterproof, just before we get into types of lights, uh, then you've got to put it in some kind of waterproof container. If it's a small, cheap moving head, you know, a, a clear plastic bin or a, a literally a little Amazon uh, rain uh, greenhouse, rather, uh, sometimes can work just fine. But if it's a bigger moving head and you've got more uh, cost in it, you probably want to get a waterproof dome, okay? Um, so, with that said, um, in stage lighting type moving heads, what we're working with here, there are three main types of lights. There are spots, there are washes, and there are beams. Okay, we're going to talk about all three today, though primarily beams and, and also washes. Okay, so actually, i got a bunch of stuff over here. Um, so, uh, the first and foremost that we see that we talk about in Christmas light shows are the beams, right? We've got these guys, the Dominar Beam here on Learn Christmas Lighting. We also, new uh, this year, have a Dominar Lempa. This is a lamp-based beam, comes in a little bit lesser cost, and it comes with a waterproof dome all shipped to you for the cost you see on our store. Okay, that's the big difference between us and some of the other vendors. We love them, but they don't include shipping, and the domes in particular are difficult and expensive to ship. So we include that all into one price, okay? So these are beam fixtures. What do beams do? Beams give you that look that's become very popular in a Christmas light show. A narrow shaft of bright light, maybe in white, maybe in a color, sometimes a gobo pattern in the light uh, to break it up or a prism that scatters the light further. Uh, but for the most part, beam fixtures, uh, whether in Christmas lighting, stage lighting, anything like that, are kind of a one trick pony. They give you a sharp beam of light, they cut through better than anything else given the amount of power they have, um, and they look really good. Some beams, like the Dominar, uh, have a very flat beam of light, which looks really great, really smooth across, uh, but then our Lempa here and, and other, and other lamp-based beams are going to have a pronounced hot spot in the center of the beam, which is not necessarily bad, and it does tend to make the light look a little bit brighter. Okay, um, so... With that said, um, those are beam lights, okay? And as you see from the footage, you know, that we played over top of me and stuff, beam lights give you that beam of light straight through the air. When there's darkness behind your display, like a lot of people put these on a roof, it looks awesome, okay? Next, we have wash lights, okay? Now, I've got a wash light right here. It's actually a new one out of our Dominar line as well, our Dominar wash. And... What a wash light does is it has all these different LEDs, okay, and it can typically zoom, uh, not always, but it can zoom, uh, and it can color mix, okay. Now this is where things get interesting. So whether you go with, you know, a big weather rated one like our Dominar wash or over here, I have one of these just, this is just one of these cheap ones off of uh, Amazon. They're not my favorite, but they can work okay, you know. So you get a wash light like this, and you know, these guys are cheap, right? I mean, you see them on Amazon other places. Uh, and if you can put this in some kind of plastic bin, waterproof box, uh, maybe vent it if you're in a hot climate, then uh, you can take these and you can wash with them. So whether a cheap wash or a, a higher end, uh, much considerably brighter wash, uh, wash lights do one thing really well. They shoot light at objects. Okay, so when you're thinking about using a light at your Christmas display, we use wash lights, like I've got some video here of this big guy behind me, 
uh, you can light a wall, kind of like a floodlight in this hobby, but way brighter. And you can go from really wide to really narrow with that wash of light. Okay, and that's one of the big keys is the ability to zoom. The, the little cheap ones like this, they're, they're not gonna zoom, okay? Um, but, you know, having that is just another tool in the toolbox, another thing you can do, okay? Um, and then the last type of unit that I don't have in front of me right here is a spot type unit. A spot type light typically uh, has some different colors in it, but not color mixing. Uh, and the difference being, I forgot to get to that, the difference being that color mixing in a wash unit in X lights will allow you to apply the different effects, like the regular color effects that you use on all your pixels. They will apply to a moving head fixture when you use the model, the moving head model, uh, and you define the red, green, blue, and white channels, they will respond accordingly, okay, to the effects. Whereas beams, a lot of people know, uh, when you're programming them, you're choosing color off a color wheel. It's a fixed color, it doesn't uh, go smoothly from one color to the other, and it doesn't respond to those standard effects in X lights. Spots are the same way. So when we're looking at spot type fixtures, their primary goal is kind of like the washes. It's throw light at an object. Because in Christmas lighting, you really don't get the spot through the air with haze look like you would on a stage. Uh, we just don't see that because we don't have haze. We just have the humidity in the air. You need a sharper beam. You need something like a beam fixture for it to actually be seen in a Christmas light show. And so uh, wash and spot type fixtures, again, with spots, you can get little tiny cheap ones. Uh, there's a whole range. But the biggest key is get something that's, that's weatherproof or find a way to weatherproof it. And then it's going to be for shining light onto objects. And you can shine light and patterns onto objects, uh, whether that be the house, trees, a building, uh, grass, a grassy, uh, you know, way, a grassy yard. That's the word. Um, there's a lot of things you can shine them at. But ultimately, um, it's not going to be something you're going to see going through the air like at a concert. Okay, so I hope this video, as short as it may be, can kind of help you see the different kinds of moving heads that are available in the Christmas lighting hobby. Now, uh, this isn't a full list, but it, it gets you started. And, you know, even some lights like the Lempa Beam, for example, has multiple prisms. And so it can kind of do some things that look sort of like a spot fixture when shined upon a house. Okay, um, so with that said, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope this helps you understand the difference between these three kinds of lights. And if it did, be sure to subscribe and check out our full range of waterproof lights and more over at the Learn Christmas Lighting store. And if you're new here, just want to get started with the hobby, grab my free guide to begin with Christmas lighting over at learnchristmaslighting.com. Till next time, we'll see you. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.